Hello and welcome to the first Tick Pick Challenge. Your chance to support youth development at Celtic FC and to get your hands on a top cash prize. All you've got to do is correctly predict the outcome of 10 fixtures this weekend across the UK. And one man who's feeling lucky and joining me in the studio is Tom Boyd. Tom, we're going to get right into it. First of all, Wigan versus Norwich. What are you going for? Are you sitting on the fence? Right, Kenny. Um, obviously, hopefully the, the, the viewers will cuss uh, very, very gently on me because I've been trying to predict Boys Bonkers bent in the number seven for the last 11 years and got it right twice. So trying to get 10 results in one week, uh, I have absolutely no chance. But here goes and see if you can get any better than this. Wigan v Norwich, I believe Wigan will win because they have been in this position before, um, having to survive uh, the relegation battles. Uh, and they did get a good victory in the last time. Uh, I think that was against Tottenham. Um, and uh, so I think Wigan will get another home victory in this one. This is the stage in the season, as everyone knows, that Wigan turns into Barcelona. <laughs> they turn into Barcelona, but they don't have the Messi's or the, the Villas or the Iniesta's and, and guys like that that can, can score the goals. But they've got to be Sean Maloney. What more do you need? Hey, listen, you could be up there with them. You never know. Uh, so the next game we've got is a simple one. This is an easy one. St Myrne versus Celtic. I don't know about you, Tom, but I've got about a deja vu playing St Myrne this season. It just seems we're always playing St Myrne. We'll, we've, we've had a few times <laughs> and a few very successes. Obviously, the League Cup game was a big disappointment, but uh, and one of our best performances was, was down at Love Street 5 nothing game. So... Uh, yeah, I always hated, in fact, I never ever took it when we played when I was a player. Not that I was allowed to gamble when I was a player, but uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I think this will be an away victory for the Hoops uh, because being too strong, great victory against Aberdeen, come back, showing the mentality. Uh, and I think it'll take something like that to, to go to Love Street where hopefully they will still be celebrating a League Cup win. Next one, another one of your former former clubs, Dundee, Motherwell. Now, Dundee played not too bad since, you know, change of management, yeah. but Motherwell have got the faddy factor, so hoping uh, for an away win. Yeah, I, I think that will be an away win. I think they have uh, certainly picked up and some, I mean, James McFadden coming back, he's, he's got the flair and the player for them, and, and he's been outstanding, I think, just in the few games that I've seen him, played exceptionally well, and I think they had a midweek win against Hibs or something, it was a 4-1 win. So for me, I know Dundee have, Picked up a little bit, but they're still not getting the victories, enough victories to try and get them out of that relegation for me, so it's a no-way win as well. That's the third time I've also agreed with you, so I'm going for the way win as well. Now, the Don't worry, I'll, I'll change, <laughs> I'll change soon. Next one, a wee bit trickier, Swansea, uh, they've won the League Cup up against Tottenham, who are pushing for a top four place. This probably is a, the purest kind of game of football that you'd want to go and see. It's, uh, I think, two attacking times, uh, teams just want to get the ball down and play. And for that reason, I will say this will be a draw. I took Swansea for a draw last week against the Arsenal. They had a few chances, but Arsenal went through in the end. So, But I think this time, Swansea and Tottenham will be a draw. I'm yeah. allowed to sit on the fence, yeah? I was going to say, that's the first time you sat on the fence and we're disagreeing. I'm going to go for Swansea in this right. one because I'm going to call it the key song young factor because, I mean, let's face it, X-Hoop, we've got to go for it. Oh, sitting about now, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> Next one we've got, Aberdeen versus Hearts. Now, two clubs that have kind of changed around a little bit. Hearts, a bit of turmoil, shall we say. Aberdeen, it's the the retirement, shall we say, of, of Craig Brown. Aberdeen came here, done very well, but for me, if you look at Aberdeen's results at, at Petodia this year, uh, and the same with Hearts, I, I'll even go as far as saying the correct scoreline in this one uh, will be nil, nil. There has been nil, nil in about 20 games up at Petodia this season. Uh, I don't see this changing in any way, so for me, it will be a draw, and I'll even go as far as saying it'll be nil, nil. Confident. Tom, I disagree again. I'm going for an Aberdeen win here. I just, I'm, going, I'm going to hope that if they play as well against us as against us in that kind of first half, they'll make it a win. But no, they just don't win it, Petodre. <laughs> no, honestly, I'm telling you, that's no, no. Right, we'll see how we agree on this right, one. Okay. Next one, Ross County, Kilmarnock. What are we thinking? I think Ross County at home, who have been the form team, uh, put us to the sword uh, after coming back for 2 nothing down, which we were very disappointed with. But... Uh, for that, I'm saying Ross County will continue the, the kind of form they're in. I know they lost to Inverness in the last game, but that was a derby match. Uh, for me, Ross County will get back in the rails and beat Kilmarnock at home. Now we're back on side, so you are agreeing with that. I think Ross County will do not too bad. Next one, though, West Ham, West Brom. This, this is a, tr a tricky one tricky. to call. Ah, very hard, very difficult. West Brom up there near the top of the heart of the league. Doing very well under uh, Steve Clark, big Celtic man uh, down there. <laughs> played with him at Chelsea. Uh, but West Ham have home advantage. And I think they will just swing it for me with uh, the news that they got the Olympic Stadium and all that kind of thing. So <laughs> that will give them a wee boost. So for me, West Ham at home to uh, West Brom. Now the next one I think is going to be pretty tricky because it's Aston Villa versus Liverpool nah, now. Nah. Villa, I mean, let's say it's a mixed season. But, you know, Paul Lambert, absolutely great guy. Good Celtic man as well. Right. So what we think? Totally. 
Uh, well, for that reason, I would hope that Aston Villa <laughs> win. Uh, for, for for Paul's sake, that uh, he gets the victory that they need because they're in the, the minor down there uh, and they get a good victory the last time. Liverpool, uh, I think this one of the teams, they, they, they play well. And they they, they, cold, they, they, they? Oh, totally. Mm-hmm. They, they're the most inconsistent team without any shard of doubt this season of well, well, what the expectation levels are. Uh, but for me, I think Liverpool will just shade that, you know, with the players they've got and the ability they've got. And I think they'll just uh, edge it over Paul. I hope we do. So I hope I'm wrong. I know I'm saying this, but uh, yeah, I think uh, Liverpool will just share it. Well, you heard it here first. You're not backing Paul Lambert, so we'll no, move on really quickly know, from that I know, one. I know. The, last two, <laughs> the last two we've got here, we've got Hibs versus Inverness. Now, where do we sit on this one? Because I know it's a tricky one to tell. It's, it's very difficult, um, but for the reason I'm saying about current form and uh, the form that uh, Inverness are in, for me, it'll be in a way victory at Inver- Hibs. Seem to struggled so many times mm-hmm. this season. Threatened a lot early on when they played very well, but for me, I think Inverness will win this one um, uh, and a way win for Inverness. And we're back to disagree, and I'm going to go for Hibs on that one. Yeah. And the final one we've got Everton versus Stoke. Now, if anyone, anyone knows, Everton's marking an English team, so I'm going to go for a solid home win. Uh, yeah, and I can't disagree with you there, because uh, I think Everton blipped against uh, Wigan in the cup. Uh, but get back in rails and I think Everton should win this I think fairly comfortably a couple of goals because they are the, uh, very decent at Goodison so for that uh, Everton home win as well well you heard it here first Tom Boyd putting his money where his mouth is now if you want to get involved with TickPit you can pick these up at the Celtic Pools office at Celtic Park or you can go to CelticFC.net slash pools to get involved and we'll see you next week hey well <laughs>